there's this tendency to assume that, of course, it makes sense for Taiwan to be considered a part of China in some sense, because ethnically many people um, in, who live in Taiwan, you know, had family that came at some point in the past from China. And I think that really fails to capture the ways in which Taiwan has developed a very distinct identity. And politics is a part of that. But I think democratic political participation has become a kind of cultural value in Taiwan that feels very different from a context like the U.S., where many people feel very, very disengaged with politics at this point. There's disengagement with Taiwan in Taiwan, too. But um, I think this idea that democracy is something that has become a deeply felt part of the culture is something that gets a little bit lost sometimes from the political conversations about how Taiwan does or doesn't fit in with China. The thing I like to celebrate the most is, is just how dynamic of democracy Taiwan is, uh, especially telling my American friends that Taiwan does not suffer uh, from the same two-party lock system as the United States uh, because of Taiwan's electoral system, because Taiwan does allow for small parties to have meaningful participation in electoral politics, and that Taiwan's democracy is uh, in many ways, just as robust, if not more robust than the United States. Uh, and that's something to be celebrated, that there are there's so much about Taiwan internally and domestically that I think uh, so many people can identify with that doesn't get brought into the headlines, things like its pride for marriage equality, things like its pride for um, uh, progressive values. Uh, and, you know, these parts of Taiwan, unfortunately, don't make headlines because there's uh, arguably these days a lot more uh, urgent things to talk about. But I, I do hope that uh, if there is opportunity that that people can see Taiwan for, for all that it is and, and not just kind of the, the scary headlines.